my name is Peter Banks. Here is another edition of Banging On. The last video you may recall that we had a great conversation with my good friend Jim at the recent Greenbelt Festival and now we've got two more topics that he's going to talk to us about. We thought we would stitch them together this time to make one uh, slightly longer educational video. So the two topics that he's going to tackle are nuclear reactors, the ones principally in use in the UK, and then in the second part he's going to talk about advanced nuclear reactor designs. That's all to come in this video. Thanks for joining us again. Enjoy. In the United Kingdom we started with Magnox reactors are basically very big, very low power density reactors that use natural uranium metal fuel and lots of carbon uh, for a moderator. Uh, because the temperatures are not very high on those reactors, they're not very efficient uh, in generating electricity, so we moved on to AGRs. Um, AGRs are advanced gas cooled reactors. Um, they utilise uh, an oxide fuel with a stainless steel cladding and less graphite, higher temperatures, bigger reactors. Good design, um, but there are other reactors which are now being promoted here. There's one pressurised water reactor we already have at Sizewell. Uh, that is a much more compact design which involves water instead of the graphite. Uh, the carbon as a moderator and it has fairly similar fuel to the AGR um, but it's much more compact, much smaller. It relies on high pressure to stop the water from boiling so it relies on there being a contained system for water. Um, the other reactor type that is being proposed here is called the boiling water reactor and like the name says it's a bit like a PWR but the water boils uh, and that's, that's quite a difficult uh, type of reactor to model correctly because you, know, you have water and steam in the reactor and they have very different properties. And uh, where are these uh, reactors likely to be built or are they proposed to be built? Uh, there's several being proposed at the moment. They've, you've got Hinkley is, is underway. Uh, you've also got a BWR in Wales and you've got another type of PWR which is uh, in South East England, uh, Bradwell. This time we're going to talk about the more advanced designs of nuclear reactor. Take it away Jim. Right, uh, we've, we've experimented with quite a few different reactors around the world. Um, one that you might know about in this country has been the, the uh, fast reactor up at Dunray. There were two reactors there which are sodium reactors, they use a molten sodium to cool them. Um, they were demonstration and prototypes and they breed plutonium from uranium. Uh, so it creates uh, plutonium which can then be used again in the reactor. Uh, some people have concerns about that because of the potential for use in weapons. So, particularly in America, they looked at something called the thorium cycle reactor, which uses thorium instead of uranium, which they believe would be harder to utilise in nuclear weapons, so uh, a safer type of reactor. There are other reactors we've used, um, the steam uranium heavy water reactor, so that uses tritium heavy water, uh, tritated heavy water to, to actually be more both a moderator and a coolant and you have steam as well uh, produced from that. Uh, you have pebble bed reactors which use small what are essentially pebbles of uh, nuclear fuel coated with a, a moderator and that's uh, a, re a reactor type that was I believe mainly proposed in countries like South Africa. Uh, there are lots of other designs that are around. Uh, the, the designs which are becoming much more um, promoted today are the smaller reactors and the modular reactors where you have a sealed reactor which has fuel inside it. It's based mainly on submarine designs uh, and the reactor is filled, sealed, used and then completely got rid of in one. 
so there's no access to the fuel and it's much safer because it's much smaller, lower power. And the last uh, question on this topic, the, uh, the promise of fusion as opposed to fission. Well, um, we have experiments in fusion in this country, some of the better experiments. Uh, one or two other countries are playing with the idea. Um, fusion does work. You, we know you can, you can extract energy through fu from fusion. We've got demonstrations of that. Uh, one of them is called the hydrogen bomb. Uh, which is effectively fusion, uh, so the, 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 the physics is there, but to actually contain it and to make it work on a, on a regular basis is something that is stretching us at the moment. Um, there are a couple of programmes working on that, but to match both the materials and the technology together is proving really difficult. So that's another big thanks to Jim for sharing his knowledge in such detail. It's so good to have that information from somebody effectively on the inside of the nuclear industry. Despite where maybe our views are, it's always good to top up our knowledge. So, my name's Peter Banks. Thank you for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe. You just click that little bang button down in the corner. It might be down here, but I think it's down there. Then you'll get notified next time we produce a little video blog. Again, thank you very much. Look forward to seeing you next time.